This week, I've got Official Secrets, which is based on the true story of Catherine Gunn, who was a British intelligence specialist who basically became a whistleblower because she discovered that the U.S. was asking the United Kingdom to help them blackmail the U.N. Security Council into going to invade Iraq, which is insane. And unfortunately, like this movie takes place in 2003-2004, and yet... The government, etc., cetera, et cetera, like everything just feels just as corrupt then as it did now. And it's very upsetting to be like, oh, cool, like nothing has changed. We are still doomed. Like even when people put their lives on the line to like try and bring justice to the world, like it doesn't matter. Great. Super positive and uplifting, right? I don't know. It stars Keira Knightley as Catherine Gunn, and then it's got this huge all-star kind of British cast. It's got Ray Fiennes, Matt Smith, Matthew Good, Indira Varma, Reese Ifans. My challenge with this movie is a lot and nothing happen at the same time. Like, cool, this is a very important story, and I hate movies about important stories because they're trying to kind of rely on the content of it to make you feel compelled to be invested. But at the same time, cool, it's important that she did this for her country. Basically, she put her life at risk. She did what many people would be afraid to do, and in doing so, probably prevented some horrible things from happening. Did she completely prevent horrible things from happening? Absolutely not. But she tried her best. The, the challenge is, so it goes from like, okay, she's going to do this thing. She's like worried about it to like some of the consequences. And then it kind of becomes like a weird legal thriller. And if you were a fan of, I guess, international or wartime law or something like that, because she gets, she gets charged under the Official Secrets Act, uh, then you will probably like this movie. But I don't, I, I feel like they got to like the leaking of the info too fast. I, I know that's a mild spoiler, but like that's the premise of the film. So if you don't know that she leaks the info, like, you know, if you didn't watch the trailers, you didn't read anything about Catherine Gunn. So I'm not super worried about that. But like the, the, the balance of consequences and actions feels very odd. I thought Kara Knightley did a really great, I, like the cast is fine, right? But it's just a lot of talking heads. There's like a little bit of action actually in like a couple parts, but it's just sort of like randomly peppered in. And so you're going on this ride, but it just, it feels, it feels uneven. It feels bumpy. It's like, but not, a, not in a good roller coaster way in like a, okay, is this supposed to, nope. Oh, okay. We petered out. We're fine. We're calmer now. No, oh, no, things are, oh no, just kidding. That being said, like good performances, painful, just given the circumstances of, you know, we're still, the world is not a better place necessarily as a byproduct of this. And, you know, it's not all for naught, but kind of a bummer I you know I terrified to see it I'm assuming a lot of people are gonna go see that this weekend so good luck absolutely not happening for me so if you want a less if a, a real world world scary instead of a hopefully fictional world scary uh official secrets might be for you but I'm gonna give it 2.9 out of 5